Okay, so in order to get Apple sign-in working, there's just a few steps we're gonna have to go through. So the first is to create your Apple developer account. So this is necessary if you want to use Apple sign-in or even to deploy your app to the App Store. I'll add a link in the description with steps on how to do that. So once you've created an Apple developer account, you're gonna to wanna to go to the developer console and first make sure that you have a certificate that will allow you to actually build the application. I'll provide another link for how to configure that as well. So one more step you'll need to configure Apple sign-in is to tap on the more tab in the developer console and then click configure in, a, in order to configure Apple sign-in. And you're gonna to wanna to add your email address here. Now that that's all out of the way, we still have a couple steps. So first you'll need to download the code and then open the project in Xcode, which you'll need to download if you have not already. And then open the iOS directory within your project. Now click on the runner and go to signing in certificates and make sure that your Apple developer account is selected. One thing to make sure is that the bundle identifier here exactly matches the package name in Flutterflow and the package identifier that you used in your Firebase project. Then we need to go to capabilities and add sign in with Apple here. Finally, go back to your Firebase console, go to sign in methods in authentication and ensure that Apple sign in is enabled.